In 2018, we made almost $1,600 on YouTube. In 2019, we made almost $2,400 on YouTube. In 2020, we made a lot more than that. We make videos all about farming and gardening. We grow flowers and veggies here on our two and a half acre farm that we sell both here and at the local farmers markets. We've been making videos for three years now and our goal with the channel is to encourage people to support local sustainable food systems either by growing their own or buying it from local farmers. We share our financial numbers from the farm because we feel that information is really helpful for people who are thinking about doing this for themselves. And in the same way that we get contacted by people wanting to start farms, we also get contacted by a lot of people who want to start YouTube channels. Because of that, we wanted to share some money numbers to let you guys know what it's all about. But before we do this, this is my Serena demands there's a disclaimer. We need to talk about the amount of work that it takes because in the same way that the farming can look really easy and really fun, uh, the reality of making the YouTube videos is that it is a lot of time and time that is so boring that we would not make videos showing you what we do because it's literally hours of sitting in front of the computer. At this point with the YouTube channel, we spend 30 to 40 hours a week of actually working. So it's the equivalent of a full-time job. And in all the years prior to this, we've treated it like a job. So, you know, even in those early years, we were spending kind of that 25 to 35 hours a week working on it. And we did a lot of work and we made almost no money. We've also needed to invest actual money into equipment to be able to make these videos. At this point, we've probably spent about 10 grand. You can obviously spend a lot less though. And finally, like any small business you could start, there's no guarantee of success. So we feel like currently we've reached some success. Um, we don't know that that is guaranteed for everyone considering doing it or most. All right, on to the numbers. We're gonna break it down month by month and tell you how much we made each month. In January, we made $900 on YouTube. We had a video that we'd released on New Year's Eve of 2019 called 10 Lessons from First Year Farmers. And it started going crazy for us. It really launched our channel into 2020. It ended up being one of the videos that really brought us to where we are now. We also made what I grew on my flower farm, and this was a companion video to one of our biggest videos of all, which was talking about how to grow cut flowers. I was physically not here on the farm in January. I was away doing forestry work, so the videos at that time were very reliant on Serena because I was off doing my, my winter thing that normally pays the bills for the farm. In February of 2020, we made $1,050 on YouTube. We had some more videos that were doing really well. We made a top 10 must grow seeds, which was kind of like a bunch of our favorite stuff that we had grown the previous year in our first year farming. And that video got a lot of attention and yeah, it was, it was a good video. We also were making a bunch of live unboxing as I received all of my seed orders in. In March of 2020, we made $500 on YouTube. March is when things start to happen on the farm. This is the lead up to our busy season. It's when I start growing seedlings. And because of that, I made a video about indoor grow lights. This video didn't do much at the time, but at this point, it is one of our biggest videos. In April of 2020, we made $550 on YouTube. April was like, crazy busy for us on the farm. And so we had a trouble putting videos out and, and uh, our top video was uh, top veggies to plant in April, which you know hasn't really gotten as many views as a bunch of the other ones. <laughs> but we were like night and day just trying to get the seedling sale. Uh, April going. and May are work 80 hours a week or more times 
each <laughs> yeah. here on the farm. So those, it's very, very difficult for us to get any sort of video out. In May of 2020, we made $1,700 on YouTube. One of our favorite video series to make is our monthly farm tours where we get to show how much the farm changes and how much is going on. And during this month, we made It Grew Overnight farm tour and it, it did really well. The farm looked amazing at that point, so it wasn't too surprising that people wanted to click on that thumbnail that had so much food in it. In June of 2020, we made $800 on YouTube. At this point in time, the shutdowns were here and we were getting tons of food, you know, maturing in the farm and we didn't know what we were going to do with it. So we made a video about that. Uh, so much food and nowhere to sell. And it did really well. Um, I like watching that video because the farm just looked gorgeous, you know. Like during the summer, we've got all the tomatoes and you know, like all this color and stuff and it looks amazing. But all the beautiful, delicious looking greens in the spring, like... It looks pretty nice as well. I miss it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of June, we had all of our farmers markets organized. We knew what the sales plan was going to be and we were set up for the rest of the year. In July of 2020, we made $1,000 on YouTube. For the first time, we made a different style of video than what we normally do. Something more along the lines of a vlog. It's called a harvest day is longest day. And in the same way that our January farm lessons exploded our channel, this video really exploded us. And it also started getting a lot of our back catalog viewed as well. It also made us think that maybe this is a good format going forward. And we made a lot of videos kind of in this harvest vlog genre. <laughs> yeah, we, we really, it was a lot of fun to make it. And it was, we felt like it was a, a very engaging video at the end of it. So we were like, yeah, this is what we got to do. There's also another video that had a title so good that it has to be mentioned. It was our harvesting garlic video and it's called it's gotten hot out here. Let's take out all our cloves. Amazing. We think we're funny. <laughs> In August of 2020, we made $2,350 on YouTube. Around this time of year, you probably have noticed a difference on YouTube. That's when all of those ads, especially the mid-roll ads, uh, started coming onto YouTube. YouTube put mid-roll ads on basically all of its back catalog. So whether a creator had selected it or not, um, there was now mid-roll ads on these. And that meant that our revenue went way up so that all of these videos that we made in the past started making us some actual okay money. And from this point on, all of our numbers are a lot bigger. We make longer form videos. We feel like we need time to actually give details because we want to be educational. Um, so because of that, a lot of our videos had a lot of space for ads. At this point, we go in and we take out ads that YouTube wants to put in, but we have 400 videos in our back catalog. So I'm sure there's a few back there that are getting views that YouTube just loaded up with ads. We get a lot of attention on flower farming videos. And so the flower farm was looking incredible. We had to make a flower farm video. So we did a specific flower farm tour with all the zinnias and all the dahlias, and it did really well. We also did a video called A Day Selling at a Farmer's Market, and it was the only time of the year that Serena went with me to the farmer's market. <laughs> In September of 2020, we made $3,400 on YouTube. That's a lot. <laughs> Is that our best month? No. We were seeing a theme for success, so we ran with it. And during this month, we tried to put out a harvest vlog type video every week. We tried to make one every time we harvested. I remember being really tired from all the farming and all the work that year. And, and just being like really burnt out at this point. But then it would be like, we're harvesting and it would be like, should I get the camera? I was like, let's just do it. Let's do another one. You know, it's a big commitment to time because those harvest videos were very difficult to edit. I but think at this point we made our most difficult to edit one, which we clocked, you know, over 20 hours of actual 
editing time onto it. It's, yeah. It was... It started a, off as like three hours of footage that we had to like crunch and kind of like... We skimmed it down to like 28 and there was high fives. Yeah. <laughs> In October of 2020, we made over $3,300 on YouTube. This is pretty much the end of our farm season. We still had lots of food, but after Halloween, it gets a lot harder to sell the food that we had. So we were kind of finishing up homeward stretch. The break time was coming. We made a video about planting uh, 3,000 bulbs, mostly tulips. And we had a lot of fun making that video. I think it turned out really well. In November of 2020, we made $2,300 on YouTube. At this point, our views were down overall on the channel. And, you know, the money reflects that, but no complaints. That's yeah. still an incredible amount of money. Uh, and we were cleaning up the farm and finishing up our selling season. And we made a video that we loved the title of a uh, record breaking winter farmers market. Yeah. And the record was, it was our worst market of the year. It was a really bad market. Uh, but I know a lot a lot of our friends were like, oh, we're so excited. Yeah, record breaking. <laughs> and like, like, it's the bad kind of record. <laughs> <laughs> In December of 2020, we actually had our best month, early Christmas present for us. <laughs> uh, we made $3,600 on YouTube. December is always a really good month on YouTube because all the advertisers are finishing up their yearly uh, ad money. So there's a lot of spending happening. So everyone always does better in December. So no surprise that that was our highest, highest income month. But we made some videos that did well and that we enjoyed. How much money we made farming. Uh, yeah, obviously we like talking about money. <laughs> a sister video to this and uh, 10 most profitable flowers with Nicole. Oh yeah, super fun to Farms. get to do a collab. Yeah, that was a fun video. Yeah. So in total, all together. Drum roll, drum yeah, roll. The total is almost $22,000 for the year. And as you can tell, a lot of that was in the last half of the year. So. We are happy with that because, um, like we said, you can tell a $1,500 year, $2,400 year for, you know, not quite the same amount of work as we put in this year on it, but like a similar amount of work. And, and uh, this year we were finally getting compensated for our time a little better, which is important because uh, we, do, we do need money still. We still need to buy things. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally, we grossed almost identical amounts on the farm and on YouTube this year, which, you know what that makes us, Serena? A content farm. No, no, <laughs> no content farm. Because there's actually some additional revenue streams from doing YouTube. Uh, when people buy stuff through our links, we earn a little bit of money. So I didn't add up all of the numbers, but there's probably a good few thousand dollars in addition to what we made just on ad revenue. That and we made. all of our amazing merch. Yep. All of, all of our fun, <laughs> all of our fun shirts that we made this winter. That was those, a those made a little bit of money. They paid for us to be able to make more in the future. <laughs> We really appreciate the opportunity that YouTube represents for us, uh, not only to get our message out there to, you know, share this, you know, theme that we think is so important, um, but also to, you know, compensate us to be able to devote the time that we like to devote to it. Sitting at year three, it's feeling like it's going to be sustainable for us to keep doing this going into the future. You know, even if YouTube just helps us hire an employee on the farm to make it so that we're not drowning in, in work between the two businesses, that's gonna be a huge advantage going into future years. And year five profitable for the farm, but here we are, year three profitable for YouTube, so. That's pretty good. Yep. You know, I, I like to give things five years. The fact that we have, you know, paid for the investment already. I'm happy.